Hello, today in this video we're going to be talking about the Cisco 4742 HDC. This is a set-top box that's primarily used by Bright House Networks and Time Warner. This is going to be about activating one if you were to buy these from a third party by installing a cable card that you're going to have to pick up locally from your office and rent one. All right. Once you get your cable, once if you, when you go to Bright House or your local provider, you don't tell them you're going to need a cable card, and you're going to tell them it's for a TiVo unit or television. Not that you're putting it in one of these because they won't like that. Um, when you go there, they may ask something about some cable companies have switch digital or tuning adapter. Um, just tell them you don't. That you're not going to need that. That you're not worried about the switch digital channels. Okay. And when you get this thing home. From your provider. There's a slot in the back. Where the card goes. As you can see on the back of here. The card is going to be behind this. There's two screws. Take the screws out. And there's the card. You pull the old card out, which is here. By the way, this is the one I've happened to pick up and actually rent from them. This one here came with the box. So I've already had this paired. Um, best results with Bright House that I've found that these actually older green cards work better. So when you get this home, by the way, make sure the power is on plugged when you're pulling your cards in and out. You'll put the new card in the unit and then power it on. Um, sometimes these cards may have to say it might do some kind of firmware update. So don't panic, just let it sit there for, it probably takes about five to 10 minutes to do. It's booting up now. It'll take it a few minutes. All right, well, this is doing is selecting the right box for your provider. You have to make sure that it will be compatible just because you see these models, you know, these boxes may look the same. But and theoretically, there is some differences on the bottom of the unit. You'll notice on here. I don't know if you can see that with the camera or not. But there's a label that says hardware ID. Which this one says 1887. Some cable companies I've seen 1987 or I've actually seen 3101 for this particular model some of these you may have to go by a similarly part number or pin depending on uh, how old your box is and of course as you can see on the screen it's still loading All right, once you get the new card in there, you're going to have to call your provider to get it activated. When you call them and talk to somebody, tell them that you picked up a card, you know, a cable card from your, you know, from the office. And then tell them that it is going, you know, you need to have your TiVo activated. You picked up a card for a TiVo. Most of the representatives will then know what you're talking about to proceed to probably transfer you to somebody else in the call center that actually deals with these cards. All right, next trick when you get your box to go on the diagnostics, you're going to hold your select button down until you'll notice that you'll see some little blinking lights on here. You see the light blinking, and you just hit arrow up. And this will bring you to the diagnostics page of your box. 
and then you just scroll down to cable card and as you can see there's a host cable card ID host ID and when you call your provider they're going to need that information to pair the card very important to get the numbers right and then once you do that they'll send some signals to it and it will start working All right, if you have any questions more about it, just feel free to post. Thank you very much.